Hey everyone, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing another Archer and Olive daily journal setup. And this time I'm going to do three weeks and it'll be a little bit of a shorter process video. So for this particular week in May, it's the week of May 9th, I did a horizontal layout that I really love and I do it almost every month. And I'm also repeating the theme of books because I got two sticker sheets from Alicia Michelle, one of my favorite sticker shops, like I've said. I'm gonna show you those in just a minute and then I'm gonna use those as kind of my base for how I'm gonna put together my spread. I also got a new uh, alphabet stamp set from Allie Edwards and the Laura Wansick collaboration. So I stamped May and then I decided to use my greenery stamp set from Everyday Explorers. That stamp set actually just came back and it is one of my favorite stamp sets. I just, I love it. I did use a thicker leaf from a different stamp set in a green ink. I am also going to wind up taking a break from this spread because I wanted something else to add to my spread. So I am going to, like I said, take a break and decide, you know what? I'm going to try some doodled flowers of my own, outline them in pen and see if I like that. I used that new Laura Wansick Ali Edwards stamp set for the dates and I really love the number font, the small little number font. I don't know, kind of reminds me of like old type of writing. I don't know, it's really cool and it has a slight slant to it. One of the quotes that I used, I live in books more than I've lived anywhere else. I put that right in the middle and then the open face book. And I feel like that's kind of what caused the problem with me trying to figure out what could go in that space next to um, up in that big section. I didn't know what I could put there. I didn't want to put another sticker and I didn't want to put another book little cluster. So I was kind of stumped. I added in when in doubt go to the library I put that on Tuesday because we always go to the library on Tuesday and uh, the book was better on the right side so you can see I'm showing you kind of close up my flowers and doodles that I made and I was so proud of myself so proud of myself I love how these turned out I had the perfect coordinating Tombow markers to help out finish this spread. So I am just gluing them down and I just freehanded them and also outlined them with a pen, kind of just like uh, Alicia Michelle's stickers and I love them. Feels so awesome to have something work out like when you think about it and step away and then you come back and it works out great. So I just love that. And this spread is done. Now we're gonna move on to another spread that I was super, super excited to try a few different things. So the first new type of thing I tried was using a marker to kind of highlight where my days of the week are gonna be. Mind you, I'm gonna have to come back, I think, to every single one of these green little marks and add some because the day, it wasn't big enough for the day of the week. I also, in case you're noticing, stamp the days all out of order because this stamp set is so frequently used that the stamps are not sticking and I need to clean it. So that's kind of what was going on. So I was just, they were in a big jumbled mess. So I pulled one off and then that's when I would stamp it based on whatever I pulled off used the Ali Edwards Laura Wansick stamp set again with the larger numbers and I put one on the left and one on the right and I went ahead and kind of saved myself some time and stamped the one on every single spot that I needed and then the two and then um, stamped the individual numbers. Second thing that I tried was outlining my numbers in black to kind of make them pop a little bit more because this whole theme is uh, green, black, and pink with cactus as the focus. I don't remember if this was a like um, journal spread uh, lift, like a, not my idea, but I, th I think it was my idea. I'm not sure, but anyways, it leaves this big space up at the top to decorate. And you guys, I was beyond excited to add all the cactus 
stickers up here. Just ridiculously excited to use up a ton of cactus stickers. I love cactus and I have some on my porch and I just, I love the stickers. I just love it. So I took a ton of Happy Planner stickers that I've had from a really long time ago and then some die cuts. You can see I just peeled off the backing so it's a lot thinner. Some die cuts, I think from Bella Boulevard, I peeled off the backing, like I said, to make it thinner. And then I was able to just keep going and create this awesome little like scene with all these different cactuses. I also put down a journaling card that says good vibes and I peeled off the backing for that as well. And when I say peel off the backing, I mean like peel off the layer of cardstock. So that way it's a little bit thinner. So that way it's kind of like a sticker and doesn't add as much bulk. So I have my Happy Planner stickers, the Bella Boulevard die cuts, and then I also pulled out a few other Happy Planner stickers. I'm just trying to use up the Happy Planner stickers as much as I can before I decide, you know what, I'm done with them and I need to get rid of them. But I put another little cluster down in the bottom left and eventually I will add in a quote above it. So I am just loving this spread. It is so much fun to have the little scene up at the top and I'm definitely going to repeat it for June with like summer themed stickers. The sticker down at the bottom put, I put, you gotta nourish to flourish and I, I love it. Added in a few X's in different colors to kind of finish up the spread and then I'm done and I can move on to the last spread. So it was a lot of fun to try the different techniques with this this daily journal spread and I just I love it it's a new favorite and that I like I said I'm gonna keep repeating so this one turned out really fun as well I started off by adding in that bird so that way I knew how, where my boxes kind of needed to start I didn't really think about how I was gonna have to put Wednesday there so the Wednesday sticker later on is gonna get a little covered up but you know what I say? It doesn't matter in the end, right? <laughs> I uh, love this sticker sheet with these little tropical birds. They're like teal and like almost like a soft orange almost, I want to say. So that is kind of the theme of my spread. And again, I'll do a little bit of stamping and then adding in some Happy Planner stickers. I just do one long box for the weekend and that'll be good enough. But I love this long box to just jot down a few different things about the day. And kind of when I do my daily journaling, I just do bullet points. I feel like that puts so much less pressure on myself to like write a paragraph or an essay or write full sentences. I can just kind of do bullet points and highlight stuff about the day, things my kids did, how I was feeling, um, whether or not I got a workout in, anything special. So I just love daily journaling and how it really is kind of almost like a guidebook for when I'm doing like scrapbook projects because I can go back and kind of see what was going on that day. I switched the two birds that are kind of sitting on the vertical boxes. I switched those so that way the orange was on the right and the blue bird was on the left. I also used my tiny um, days of the week from According to Ali. I just love those. They're perfect. I also took a sticker strip and put it below the birds so that way it was almost like a a way to anchor it and also act like a branch from a tree. Added in a, f a sticker to one of the birds that says shine bright and be bold is another circle sticker that I uh, put up by May. So again, using some more of my happy planner stickers and this everyday greenery stamp set. I love the sticker that I put down in the bottom left. It says she has fire in her soul and grace in her heart. Felt like that was perfect and this uh, layout just turned out to be a really soft interesting color scheme and I just love it. I have really enjoyed this daily journal practice and being able to jot down my thoughts and also just making these pages where I can use up my supplies, just play with my stamps, play with my stickers. I just, I love it. I also found a Happy Planner sticker that had a cluster of dots that were blue, like two different shades of blue. So I added in those and also added in a few orange dots, like a few, and I had to like separate the dots so it wasn't such a big cluster of orange. Stamped in the days, the dates, and then I'm done. 
and I will flip to the last page, which is going to be 30 and 31. And I'm also going to include the highlights and review page as well. As you can see, it's all finished here, but I went ahead and shared a real process video on my Instagram. But that's it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed seeing these spreads come together. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.